guys, Van Shop. This is Place the Movie Fan. And there is one thing I absolutely hate seeing in political discussions. And that's when people assume the worst in others. And the video I'm responding to now is the prime example of what I'm talking about. Now three arrows has become a bandwagon lately. And you know what? I don't want people criticizing him. I really don't. But my issue, well, I will be getting into that by the end of the video. Now I do think that Black Vision Speaks makes good videos for the most part. But this video is just fucking awful. One more thing to say, I know that politics is my weaker subject. However, I do watch videos on politics almost every day as I know that politics are important. So, anyway, with that all being said, without further ado, let's dive in. Okay, you guys know I don't do drama on this channel and I rarely do response videos. Well, considering how bad this one is, you probably should have stuck to that. I will be addressing a recent slanderous video made by the Antifa Drama Channel, Three Arrows, and yes, I realize this is punching down. But before we do that, let's take a look at the symbol that is Three Arrows. So it goes on, blah, 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 blah. And then it finishes off with the three arrow symbol is popularly used by the American Antifa movement. And it's based on flags from Antifa and the German Communist Party. Okay. So what we're dealing with is a political Antifa YouTuber. So now we have a pretty good idea where this guy's political orientation is. Let's take a look at his channel. Okay, first of all, he never said that he was an Antifa member. I mean, sure, I can give you that it probably isn't a coincidence that his name and channel icon is associated with Antifa. But honestly, if he is part of Antifa, so fucking what? A person isn't bad simply because they're part of an organization that might or might not be a terrorist group. I'd rather not discuss whether it is or not, since I don't fucking know. And I'd rather not say something ignorant. So I'll just leave it at that. Everything in here being socialist or... The N word. Hold on, when the hell did three arrows ever use the N word? I was three arrows a lot. It is, after all, my favorite channel to go to when I want to learn about history. And not at one point did he ever say the N word. The other 75% would be, I would say, response videos that he makes to larger YouTube channels. And he does this to ride their coattails to get clicks. Or, you know, you could just disagree with those videos. I really fucking hate it when people. Accuse someone of only making videos for the money, views, or for attention without any evidence to back that up. And I mean proper and refutable evidence, not assumptions like your video is full of. He's got one here, no bullshit, a response to him, and he's got a response to Ben Shapiro. And now Ben Shapiro and no bullshit, they don't understand. They're lying. They, they don't know what they're talking about. Look, even if he did accuse no bullshit of lying, he didn't, he was just arguing with his point, he would have a legitimate case. No bullshit is one of the most hated members of the political community on YouTube. And for legitimate reasons too. Because despite the name, he is full of fucking bullshit. Hell, even right wingers hate him. So it would make sense if someone accused him of lying because of all the garbage that comes out of his mouth. And then he's got one here, Jordan Peterson. He doesn't understand. He's lying. He never accused any of those people of lying. I mean, think about it for a moment. If he thought those were lying, do you really think he would title his videos? This guy doesn't understand this. No, he fucking wouldn't. He would straight up accuse them of lying. Which again, he has never done in his videos. The fact that he says that those people don't understand something is proof to me that he is assuming the best intentions of those people. Uh, we've got Sargon. Sargon here, he doesn't understand. He's lying. Just like with everyone else, he never accused Sargon of lying. Oh, and by the way, Sargon did respond to that video later. And his video was fucking terrible. My main issue with Sargon's video is that he took down to three arrows like he's a fucking kid. Three arrows never resorted to that in his original video. Yeah, there's a reason why I consider Sargon's response to three arrows to be one of the worst commentaries of 2019. Three Arrows has a very profitable grift going on here. He basically has no ideas of his own. 
Well, it might be because he's a fucking historical channel. He spends most of his time talking about history. So of course he doesn't say anything on it, you know. I'm not sure if you do this, but you can't modify what actually happened in history. But even then you're wrong. He does talk about history in his own unique way. He brings absolutely nothing to the table. Yes, he fucking does. There's no YouTube channel I can think of that makes videos in the same style he does. If you want to say that Sean is an example of that, well, even though both might have the same political stance, the way both make their videos is still completely different. He slanders and lies about others for the sake of drama, clicks, and Patreon bucks. Okay, this is something I'm seriously sick of hearing in political discussions. Whenever someone disagrees with a person that they are responding to, they usually accuse that person of lying or slander. And it's absolutely fucking disgusting. Just because someone disagrees with you politically, does it mean that he or she is lying or slandering you or someone else? Accusing someone of that for simple disagreements does nothing but poison the well. And then states that anyone that disagrees with his comrade-influenced ideology is speaking incoherent blabber. No, when he accuses someone of rambling nonsense, he's not doing it only because he disagrees with them. He's doing it because to him, the points are complete nonsense. I'm mean, sure you might disagree with him, but it's still his opinion at the end of the day. And that nobody else other than himself has a grip on reality. Again, when the hell did he ever say that? Are you sure he's the one misrepresenting things? Because it doesn't seem that way to me. Basically, riding the coattails of people that actually have something to say. Wow, that was unbelievably condescending. And offering absolutely nothing other than to say everyone else is wrong if they don't believe in the glorious revolution. He never fucking said that everyone that disagrees with him, the purpose of his videos is to give his viewpoints and explaining why he personally disagrees with the person he is responding to. A person obsessed with the struggles, the political struggles of 1930s Germany. Well, no shit. The main subject of his channel is history. So of course he talks about the past. I don't see how that's a problem. And then somehow paints this onto everything in the 21st century. How do black vision speaks? Correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't you make a video talking about how Western civilization is going downhill because they are not over the struggles of the Holocaust? Yeah, you did! In fact, that's exactly the video Three Arrows was responding to in his first commentary on you. So you shouldn't be the one talking. And he likes to use words like false, misinterpret, misrepresent, authoritarian. Those are exactly the words most people use when arguing with someone else. Now since you don't often do response videos, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt and assume that you don't know much about how that works. If someone says something that is incorrect, the reason why people accuse that person of misrepresenting it is because to them, that person doesn't fully understand what he's talking about. So yeah, it's natural to use those terms. He creates lies to create drama. Three Arrows is a drama channel. Okay, this just proves that you have no idea what the hell you're talking about. A drama channel is someone who steers up drama just for the hell of it. Which is not what Three Arrows does. You're only saying this because you disagree with its political stance. And honestly, due to how much you have been assuming the worst of him, I believe him more than I believe you. Now, I'm going to try to keep it brief, as most people aren't very much interested, I assume, in what this person has to say. Oh, is that why he has over 200,000 subscribers and over 10,000 likes on most of his videos? Yeah, this proves again that he don't know what the hell you're talking about. But you will notice that he is almost ensconced in his own conjecture and disbelief that somebody might have a different opinion than himself. Not only is that not true, but that's exactly what the hell you're doing here in the video to him. How do you not see your own hypocrisy? 
And this is why Three Arrows does response videos rather than go on stream to converse with the targets of his slander, because it's very difficult to misrepresent people and their ideas when they are included in the conversation and can correct the lies that are disseminated about them for Patreon bucks. But I have sure to join you in a live debate. I mean, you are not the are proving with this video that you don't have the best intentions. And I have no reason to believe it would be any different if you were with him in a live debate. I don't think he should, so that would be a complete waste of time. The Channel 3 Arrow's entire repertoire, which makes sense being an Antifa ideologue channel, is to besmirch and to attempt to character assassinate anyone that he disagrees with. This is what this channel is about. Lies, lies, and more lies. This particular person, like so many other Germans, doesn't seem to have any understanding of the idea of freedom of speech. And that's understandable, because as far as I can tell, they've never had it. I could be wrong, and I wait for the response videos telling me about some obscure law somewhere on the books in Bavaria. Okay, when the hell did he ever call for deplatforming people who disagree with? I don't recall him once saying something along those lines in any of his videos. And again, I have seen a lot of them. If you think he is tough for freedom of speech because he quote, character assassinates others, that's fucking dumb. Now I'm a strong believer in freedom of speech. I think it's one of the most important things in the world. Having said that, I can tell you that's not how fucking freedom of speech works. You think he's not quote for freedom of speech because he character assassinates others? Well, character assassinating is exactly what you're doing with him in this video. So by your dumb low chick, you mustn't be all that for freedom of speech either. I would urge Three Arrows to link this video in the description of his slander video that he has created on me as I will for others in my video to see. But again, I'm pretty sure he won't. Why the hell should he? You assume the worst of him in this video. If I was in his shoes, there's no way in hell I would link a video like that in the description of my video. Let alone share it. But when you get familiar with more of his content, it becomes apparent that this sort of bleak narrative about inevitable collapse is almost all he talks about. So much so that a big part of his content is virtually the same. Here's an example of Black Pigeon Speaks' work regarding the UK. Number one, Britain abolishes itself with the thumbnail reading UKSSR, which doesn't even make sense as an abbreviation really. Number two, UK Brave New Fahrenheit 1984. Okay. Number three, UK rise of the police state. Number four, UK the police state via snoopers has arrived. Then another video about how the police state has arrived. But then I guess it went away for a moment since after that the UK is supposedly descending into a police state again. And then the uploader ends on a twist with UK rise of the anarcho tyranny state. If you're in the UK, maybe write a comment below at which state the UK currently is right now because I've completely lost track. Anyway, all these videos are basically identical at their core. They might reference or rather misinterpret different news stories, but the takeaway never changes. Namely, the UK is either about to collapse or become an authoritarian regime or something along those lines. Now you might say, isn't that a bit cherry picked of me to just pick five out of a bunch of videos? So just we're on the same page, here's another example about the country of Canada in no particular order. Canada the dumpster fire globalist experiment votes, Canada 2019 world's first meme country, Canada the post-western non-binary nation, Canada the post-national meme with no future, post-national country has no core identity, Canada abolishes itself, Canada a nation crashing with no survivors, uh, Canada has just joined the top 10 strongest economies in the world again, by the way. Halal Canada, diversity and the end of free speech. If virtue signaling was a country, it'd be Canada, a warning for America. And number 10, Canada, the next failed state. So here, what Three Arrows is doing is trying to prime his audience in misdirection and misinformation. He shows a number of thumbnails that are all basically on either Canada or the UK. 
and tries to explain to his audience this is the only kinds of videos that this channel produces but it's a very easy thing to actually look at the channel and see the kinds of videos that i produce i have one here the most recent is on the coronavirus i've got one here as i said previously i've got one here on how the cia is being blamed for destroying asian masculinity i've got one here it's a travel video scooting around hanoi on on a vespa one here on the learn to code meme i've got videos on a whole assortment of things i've got one here on the urbanism of paris and i've got one here on how homosexual men generally have a higher iq than most straight men there's a there's an entire range of videos on this channel but three arrows doesn't want people to know that what he's doing is he's spreading his misinformation he wasn't saying that you only make those kinds of videos. He said almost all, meaning that he meant most, not all of them. And even if most of his channel isn't like that, you still have to admit that you still make a shit ton of videos that aren't like the ones he mentioned. And even then, he wasn't cherry picking. He was just using those videos as a fucking example. There is absolutely no dishonesty in his claim. It's much much different from, for instance, a Steven Crowder video, which mostly exists to simply misinform and for Steven to make money. In that sense, I would go as far as to say the content of Black Pigeon Speaks is closer to fiction than any political commentary I'm familiar with. That's interesting because I would go as far as to say that the coattail riding content made by the Channel Three Arrows is amongst the lowest brow slander that I've ever come across. And this is why everyone in these circles is terrified to actually get on a stream and talk to the subject of their slander. There is an open offer always, but I'm pretty sure it won't be taken because I do understand it's frightening. It scares these people. Okay, let's say that he did accept to be in a live debate with you. What the hell would that accomplish? I have seen a lot of political debates. You know what happens by the end of it? Neither side changes their viewpoints at all. There might be some rare cases where that's not true, but with most of the ones that I have seen, that simply doesn't happen. So it wouldn't accomplish anything in the long run, and would therefore be, for the most part, fucking pointless. Amplified than that by the failure, despite a political mandate provided by popular referendum over three years ago. I know this is a nitpick, but is there any reason why you put your Twitter name at the top of your Twitter name? How the hell did you preview this video and notice this error? You probably should be more careful in the future, just saying. Even if these videos didn't have the aim to pull people to the far right, or you don't believe they do, they still have the potential to be incredibly harmful. Now, this part does make sense because when looking through the fanatical lens of a person that uses Antifa talking points as a guidepost, every person who doesn't 100% agree with this kind of ideology is to the far right. But you don't get to label me, comrade. I label myself. I consider myself something of a 90 centrist. I have gay friends, Jewish friends, one of my best friends. Where I live now in Tokyo is an African-American who goes by the name Renegade of Funk. Renegade of Funk, people, that's a plug for his YouTube channel. I live in a country of color by choice. I'm a vegetarian. I'm for controlled immigration. I donate to charity. You know, I totally understand where you're coming from. People have accused me of being a right winger as well as a leftist and neither is true sure i might have some viewpoints from the left and right but i really am on neither side i'm a centrist i agree and disagree with both sides on many things but to be honest i don't blame him for thinking that you are a right winger you do say a lot of things in your videos that right wingers usually say i am not saying that he's right to call you that though I'm just saying that there is a reason why he might come to that conclusion. A reorientation of society is needed, or as yet something unclear or unknown. These things can be worked out in the future. Adjustments will of course have to be made along new ways of problem solving. It's either this or the alternative. Naturally, he never actually gets into the specifics of what he wants to happen because he'd be banned off the platform if he did. 
What he does instead is tiptoe around what he really wants to say and uses sentences like adjustments will have to be made and that when doing so, we shouldn't shy away from being called illiberal, which is the advertiser-friendly way of advocating for the restriction of personal freedoms. If you watch the original video, you can get a sense of the mentality or the mental inclination of the person who made it. He's always overlaying LMAO on whatever music I choose for my video as though he's some kind of musical prodigy. It doesn't really matter. It's just childish and is an indication of its author. Anyway, that doesn't really matter. What you will notice here, though, yet again, is Mr. Arrow's divining. He says that he knows what I want to say, but I won't say. He knows what I believe, but I won't utter. This is very important to understand because this is his shtick. He knows what people really want to say, as though he's using some kind of Vulcan mind meld to read your brain and your thoughts. I said what I meant. I don't have all of the solutions to society. Changes that might come are unclear and as yet unknown. Full stop. I really do believe that he's going to have to hand in his Starfleet badge because his mind meld techniques don't seem to be working very well at all. Okay, I will give you that. It was a very scumbag move on his part to assume he knows you better than you know yourself. But really, since you have been assuming the worst intentions throughout this video, you aren't acting any better. Now, sorry about the length, people. I did try to keep it short. Yeah, I'm calling bullshit on that. If you really wanted to keep the video as short as possible, it wouldn't be over fucking 30 minutes long. Now, I don't mind long videos, really I don't. Some of my favorite videos are over an hour long. But don't say that you're trying to keep a video short while at the same time making a longest video. That makes you come across as dishonest. And also, you could have easily made the video much shorter. There are many times in the video where you made unnecessarily long interjections which were far longer than they needed to be. Now I understand that that deliberation is a good thing. But dragging out your points does make the video needlessly long, which I'm sorry to say, but it is a problem with this video. So now I'll leave you with something to consider. As far as I know, even the YouTuber Destiny believes that these people are fanatical ideologues that cannot be reasoned with. And I should put it out there that I respect Destiny, even though I've not spoken with him, because he mans up and doesn't run and hide when called out to explain his positions. I've never seen him straw man or misrepresent people. He can speak to people and agree to disagree, as civilized people should. So you have more respect for Destiny than Three Arrows because he is civil unlike Three Arrows, even though Three Arrows is fucking civil. I mean seriously man, you cannot watch his videos and tell me that he's not civil. He never insults people. He never looks down upon them. He argues with people in a civil and respectful way. He never assumes the worst in others. I could go on all day. So having more respect for destiny than someone else because of something that's invalid about that person is fucking pathetic. I have no opinion on destiny myself. I've heard of him but I've never seen any of his videos. But my point still stands. Now it's time for my overall thoughts. Look, Three Arrows, I don't hate you. I really don't. I've watched a lot of your videos and I find most of them to be very interesting. I can tell that you are intelligent and very educated. And I appreciate how informative most of your videos are. But this video was a total train wreck. Throughout the video, you assume the worst in three arrows, which is something you should never do in a response video. The most important aspect of a response video is to be as fair as you possibly can. And you weren't even trying to be fair, which is disappointing to put it lightly. Now I'm not going to tell you to not make response videos anymore, but please, next time you respond to someone, at least try to be fair and don't assume the worst of the person. Now, I'm aware of the fact that Three Arrows has become a bandwagon in the political community lately. I've so far seen two response videos to Three Arrows. They are both fucking terrible. I am of course referring to Sarkarova Khan's response to him as well as Black Freedom Speaks, which I'm talking about in this video. Look, I don't mind people that I like being criticized. I really don't. 
even though I fucking love three hours content, I would love to see a good video criticizing him. I just haven't found it yet. I do not think that three hours is above criticism, far from it. If I want a good video criticizing him, that would legitimately be fucking awesome. Anyway, people, we have reached the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.